Waiter! Please, please, open the door. Leave me alone. So I saw the scars, so what? I... I don't understand. How could you? How could you know what it's like to be mutilated? Why don't you have surgery? I can get you the best surgeon in the whole world. I can't. These are keloids. These are scars that won't go away. This is who I am now, forever. I'm sorry. My face was all I ever had. I know that sounds stupid and superficial, but it was, it was my gift. Look. Do you understand now? Do you know what I see? I see a woman who showed kindness to a man in trouble, who kept her head today when everything fell apart, and who's probably capable of just about anything she sets her mind to. That's what I see. Stop it. Look, listen to me for a second. I'm not saying you haven't been through hell. I'm, I'm sure you have. I'm saying you're strong enough to come out the other side. You know what? You are beautiful, yeah. Nothing could hide that. Don't do this. I don't want your pity. Good. Because pity is just about the last thing on my mind right now. Tell me this isn't a dream. This isn't a dream. <laughs> Got what it felt like to feel desirable. You have to make up for lost time. <laughs> <laughs> After I got back from the hospital, I just closed the door, shut the windows. I didn't want anyone to see my face again. It's a beautiful face. It really feels like a long time ago now. I can't believe they just leave it like this. It's a crime scene. Well, as far as the cops are concerned, the crime's been solved. secret hiding place. Ooh, a secret hiding place. And me without my super-duper decoder ring. Maybe here under a loose tile. You know, you've seen too many movies. No, really. Um, I actually had a little experience at... Breaking and entering? Yep. Yeah, you wouldn't know from the trouble you had getting us in here. Maybe there's a hidden panel under a floorboard. No. 
He's a journalist, not a secret agent. It would be somewhere he was working. You know, that's so unimaginative. Imaginative works. I guess you would know. Come on. Good morning. Luke Mon said he had damaging information about Group W. I'm thinking maybe the killer works for Group W. What are you going to do? I saw the killer. If he works for Group W, I'll be able to find out. You'll be recognized. Don't worry, I'll keep my head down. How's that? <laughs> I think we could find something else. <clears throat> That's it, Georgie. Just numbers. Any theories on what they mean? Could be some sort of code. The guy was a journalist, not a secret agent. Okay, smart guy. What's your take? How about something more practical? That's very unimaginative. Sometimes unimaginative works. Uh, boys, if I could just interrupt here with something a little more on the topic. Some of these numbers look like dates. All right, what kind of dates? What are the other numbers? And are we all connected? Who made you inquisitor for the day? Self-appointed. In any event, we need to figure this out pretty quickly. For Joy Arden, I was told to leave him at John oh, Sullivan's office. Reverend Travers? <coughs> He's back in his office. Thank you very much. Please make sure she gets the card. Okay. Hi, I'm Joy Arden, and this is Simon Overnight. Hi. Hi, I'm Celine. Come on in. What took you guys? Well, Simon wanted to make sure we weren't being followed, right, Simon? Right. Rub it in. Mm-hmm. Every chance I get. By the way, thanks for the flowers. They were lovely. His name is Eric Daniel. He runs the European shipping unit from our Paris headquarters. So you sure this is the man you saw? Absolutely. He runs the shipping unit, huh? So smuggling, maybe. Is that what Gimon found out about? 
Is that what these numbers mean? Thanks. It's okay. You can stay. So what do we know about him? I'm trying to place the name. Now, these dates could be dates of shipments. Hmm? Let me see. Sorry. These other numbers, they look like waybill numbers. I do all my shopping by courier. Uh, you know they're gonna be tracing all of Group W's incoming calls. At this point, let's let them. Communist Party headquarters, how may I direct your call? Yorgi, Largo. Largo, hello there. Welcome back to the land of the living. I'm not quite back yet. Access our container division and check for waybill number 8172-9766-2678. I'm on it. Yeah, it's part of the Paris to Cape Town shipment. The shipper is World Rescue, and the containers leave the Paris Nord container terminal tonight by truck bound for one of our boats at La Havre. Thanks. Talk to you later. That's where I heard Derek Daniels' name. He worked with Reverend Travers on World Rescue. So they're using the cover of World Rescue to smuggle what? Let's go find out. Hey, it's okay. We know what we're doing. It's just that it's been a long time since I've had someone to worry about. Take long for the police to figure out what you were up to here. What we were up to. This was your operation, remember? This whole smuggling scam was your idea, and I just set up a transportation. They're on their way. You seem to forget. You killed Luke Gimo. You set me up. I got you involved. Cover me. Goodbye. And God bless, Eric. Come to God, Travers. <laughs> He's got a temper. Let's get a hold of these guys till the cops get here. With what? They've got M16s. What, you don't like a little challenge? <laughs>
smuggling arms to Africa using Group W ships. That's the story Gimon was working on. That's why they killed him. Fortunately for you, Eric Daniel confessed. Yeah, mm -hmm. fortunately for me. How's the wounded officer? Recovering well. Ah, one thing. Why did you stay in hiding as long as you did? I know you took a dim view of people who shoot at cops. <laughs> And I knew I had a better chance of catching the bad guys if I made low. Besides, I made a very good friend. <laughs> hey guys, you're alright? The fact is, when the police went through what was left of Luc Guimont's files, they discovered his notes on the uh, magazine piece, the one he did on Largo. Apparently he had a source inside Group W. We know it was you, Michel. I thought it was a puff piece. And being one of Largo's avid supporters, I was only too happy to contribute. Naturally. What about the line that uh, Largo spends more time in bar rooms than boardrooms? Simply to portray him a as a man of the people. You understand? Salt of the earth, that, that kind of thing. It's, it's flattery, really. Hey, coming from one of my most avid supporters, I'd expect no less. No less? Oh, and one of my personal favorites here. A starry-eyed playboy whose knowledge of figures doesn't extend beyond blondes. Can you deny that you find blondes more appealing than numbers? I prefer brunettes, actually. Uh, well, there you go. Once again, I was misquoted. Can you give me one reason why I shouldn't fire you? Yes. Because you are a shrewd businessman who realizes that I am your most valuable. Asset. And a shrewd businessman knows that there may come a time when he must dump that valuable asset. Fortunately for you, Michel, that time has not come yet. <clears throat> Good. Well, uh, gentlemen, I have another meeting. <clears throat> By the way, Inspector Morel asked me to thank you personally for all your help. Why didn't you just fire? As the saying goes, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Marcus Reeves. Nary a wench. <laughs> hey, where you been? You missed all the fun as usual. We had Garden Yuck squirming so much in here, it was sweating slime. Yeah, right. <laughs> Did you read this? Yeah. She's an incredible woman. Yep. So what's happening with the two of you? Not much. Why not? I thought she needed a little time to sort her life out. She has a lot of issues to deal with. So you didn't want to be one more? Exactly. You know, when it comes to women, sometimes you can be incredibly stupid. <laughs> and from what Joy's been telling me, you were the planetary authority on women. <laughs> Okay, so I'm a little less subtle than you are. <laughs> yeah, that ain't half of it. Come on, give her a call. Don't be stupid. Don't call me stupid. All right.
Hello? Hi. Can I interest you in a Sergevay pizza? I'll bring it to you in six hours or three. I am so glad you called. <laughs>